Hey everyone, um, sorry about the delayed upload, but um, welcome to another view of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now, um, sorry Spider-Man wasn't the first one, but I've just beaten ultimate difficulty of it, so I, I gotta cope for a while before I even begin to start playing that again. So let's, um, let's talk about Fallen Order. It, it's a very simple game, it's fun. Story just follows up in between episode 3 and 4 of the Star Wars films, as you'd know if you're a big Star Wars fan. He plays Carl Kestis, a Jedi Padawan who managed to escape Order 66. Now, um, I'm going to go through the gameplay mechanics first. This video is also not scripted. Next video is scripted. Um, so the way that you travel through different planets is via the holo table. You've got recognisable planets. But there's a few that aren't recognisable, like Bogano and Zepho. Like those are completely new. But everything else is just a massive flashback to the old Star Wars films and new Star Wars films and everything else. There's loads of Easter eggs towards the films, and it's really good. It's a good game, but there are many nitpicks I have with this. The combat's good. I do enjoy playing through it, as you'll see in this. It's it's very it's very fun. It's got pretty much your standard sword fighting, but with a lightsaber, which you can have in single blade or double blade form. It's very fun to use. Double blade is less on damage, more on accuracy. Single blade is less on accuracy, more on um, more on damage. Um, but there's also the split saber, and you earn force abilities, which help with parkour and stuff. And he is the skill tree in the background that helps you upgrade lightsabers and force abilities. And pretty much just uh, it's 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 fun. That's all you need to know. But as you'll see through all this gameplay, there are many, many, many a bug in this game. And it's just, it's awful. This, this game is, it's fun otherwise besides from the bugs. Because the bugs cause the game to be so so hard to play sometimes like you'll see on some of the wall things like this the slides and it's so hard to control I didn't choose any of the um any of the worlds that really sure the issue but if you play through the game yourself you you will see some of the issues like force abilities don't do what they're supposed to do sometimes in um in certain platforming sections and it makes the game extremely difficult to play it. and it's it's suffering well, it makes your suffering that much more immeasurable and like I've said this this game is imperfect it's got those problems but if it wasn't a parkour based game and it was more just a combat fit base game then maybe it will be a bit nicer to play let's just put it that way and yeah that's about there's not much i can say about it really but like it, it is horrible to play sometimes but yeah I mean, I'm I'm gonna, but I have nothing else to talk about on problems. The combat's really good. Forcibilities are really good in combat because sometimes you can use them in combat. Like you see that um, I force load and then force pushed the enemy. And I think you also saw me use split saber on the um, on the big droid, which is something that you get later on in the game. And I think this video is probably gonna have a big section that isn't really like that wasn't really needed 
so I'll delete that before I upload it because there was a whole third part that I probably won't end up getting to but um let's just talk about the story now uh so pretty much as I said earlier it's set in between episode 3 and 4 during order 66 he plays Calcasus Padawan of Jorah Tapal uh Jorah Tapal's killed in order 66 so Cal goes into hiding and he keeps um Jorah's lights up both of them and I'm not even sure if it's Jaro Japal or Taro Japal. Um, I'm still not sure. Because I haven't played the game in a while, that's why I'm a bit rusty here. And, um, in case you were wondering, that droid, you get him on the first world, but, um, you start off the game in a scrapper place, and you get picked up by another Jedi that escaped the order but isn't believing in the force anymore uh, you only make it out of the first planet alive and obviously they go to save you um, you get hunted down by an inquisitor the whole game who is that Jedi's old apprentice like the one that stopped and um, yeah the story is very detailed and it definitely follows along the Star Wars mythos and it's it's a very it's a very enjoyable story. It fits in between everything. And it fits in with the lore of the Star Wars universe very well. Obviously obviously not with the legend lore, because that's no longer canon. Which considering how weird some of the stuff in that was, it's understandable why Disney wanted to get rid of it. Um but yeah, when you get the first planet, you get droid, which is the droid that you see. You also, um, you also have to look for the person that helped your old master, and you find out that the droid that you have belonged to him. Then you go to look for a list of Padawans that escaped Order sixty six, which is what. Your old master told you to do. Then you have to go and look for that. You end up getting a double bladed lightsaber. Then you break it, and then you have to go to Ilum to go and fix it, which is the planet that I'm currently on, and get a new kyber crystal and build uh, and fix your lightsaber with another lightsaber. And it's it's a cool experience. And then you have to go and fight the Inquisitor that's hunting you down. You don't end up killing her, obviously, but Darth Vader does, and you get hunted down by Darth Vader. And it's just an overall enjoyable experience of a game, if you can look past the flaws of the bugs. And just before this video ends, I just want to say thank you all for supporting the channel and being patient on new uploads. I really thank you all. Um, Spider-Man should be up within the next four or five weeks and it's going to be the only other upload so um, I guess see y'all for now bye